Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Hinei Matov Humanayim Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Yedid Nefesh Avarachaman Yedid Nefesh Avarachaman Vishoch Avdecha El Ritzon Yalala <laughs> Let's rise together, everybody. Shalom Aleichem. Put your arms around your neighbor. If you don't have a neighbor, you got to find one. you got to figure out. Nobody stands alone. All right. Yossi won't let you stand alone there. All right. Here we go. Shalom Aleichem. Malachem Hasharet. Malachem Malachi <laughs> Shalom <laughs> We're going to remain standing for the blessing of the Shabbat candles that's joined together. Ya <laughs> Vitsivanu 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 May be seated. We're in the Sidor in that prayer book that you know so well, page eleven, Lechuna Ranana. Lechuneran and I, Lechuneran and I, 
Naria, Naria, let's soar ye shenu. Beats me, Rot Naria, lo. Lechune ran and na, lechune ran and na, lechune ran and na, ladonai. Lechune ran and na, lechune ran and na, lechune ran and na, ladonai. Page 14, we continue. Yismechu Hashamayim. Yismechu Hashamayim. Yismechu Hashamayim. Hashamayim. Yismechu Hashamayim. V'tagel ha-ha-ha-ha-res. Yismechu Hashamayim. Yismechu Hashamayim. Yismechu Hashamayim v'tagel ha-ha-ha-ha-ret Yiram Hayam, Yiram Hayam, Yiram Hayam Hum no'o Yiram Hayam, Yiram Hayam, Yiram Hayam Hum no'o Yismechu Page 20, towards the bottom there, Rom Nemu. Okay. And we'll try that new melody maybe this time. Okay. In the red. Okay. In the red. <laughs> yes, in the red. Follow the transliteration, if you like. So here's the melody. We'll try singing it one time. Lai, lai, lai. Lai, 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 lai. Try it. Ya, la, la. Ya, la, la, la. Ya, la, 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 Lai 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 lai. Here we go. Romemu, Romemu, Romemu Adonai Eloheinu. Vehishtachavu lehar kosho. Romemu, Romemu. Romemu Adonai Eloheinu Vehishtachavu Lehar Kosho Ki Kadosh Adonai Eloheinu Ki Kadosh Adonai Eloheinu Ki Kadosh Adonai Eloheinu in Jewish tradition, one of the most important concepts we have is Kabbalat Panim. What does that mean, Yossi? Kabbalat Panim. Right? Including people coming. Kabbalat means to receive. Panim literally means to face. Right? You receive the face of people, like that cute chain of Plinum right over there, Shmuel. Right? It's the idea that we welcome people. The model is, by the way, Torah of Abraham, who welcomes the angels when they come to visit. He doesn't know that they're angelic beings, and yet he goes. Part of Shabbat is we call Kabbalat Shabbat. It means to welcome Shabbat. And who do we welcome? We welcome that Shabbat bride, right, that, who comes in the beautiful image. So, uh, Ben, I'm going to ask you, if you will, if you go back to the door there, we don't have a greeter tonight. <laughs> you don't have to sing, you don't have to do anything. Just so you're going to close that door, all right? And then when we get to Boiva Shalom, we're going to open it, and we're going to welcome in that Shabbat bride. Uh, page 23. We remain seated until, that, until Ben magically opens that door and calls in the Shabbat bride as we join together. 
לך לך דודי, לקראת לקראת כלה, בני פני שבת נקבלה. לך לך דודי, לקראת לקראת כלה, בני פני שבת נקבלה. לך דודי, לקראת לקראת כלה, בני פני שבת נקבלה. לך לך דודי, לקראת לקראת כלה, בני פני שבת נקבלה. שמור וזכור בדיבור אחד, השמיענו אל המיוחד, אדוני אחד ושמו אחד, לשם ותפרק ולהתי לה 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 לך דודי, לקראת לקראת כלה. בני פני שבת נקבלה, לך דודי לקראת לקראת כלה, בני פני שבת נקבלה, לקראת לקראת שבת לכו בנלך, כי היא מקור הברכה, בראש מקדם נשוחה, סוף מעשה במחשבה תחילה, לה 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 לך דודי לקראת לקראת כלה, בני בני שבת נקבלה. לך לך דודי, לקראת לקראת כלה, בני בני שבת. We rise together, here we go, Ben Brook, come her in. בואי בשלום עטרת בלה, גם בשמחה ובצהולה, תוך אמוני. And then we bow as we greet her. We remain standing, page 39A. Shmoo, did she come here, the Shabbat bride? Is she here for Shabbat? There we go. Baruch Hu, page 39A. <laughs> You may be seated. On uh, page 39A on the left-hand side, on the bottom, you'll see an English read and it says, God in nature, an interpretive translation. Uh, I don't know about you, I'm keenly aware of nature right about now. Is it cold for you? <laughs> right. How many of you are from the East Coast? How many of you are like, raised in the East Coast? But aren't you, like, aren't you used to this cold? No, Barbara, are you used to this cold? Not anymore. Like, you just came back from Chicago. So, so this is a little bit warm. It's all relative. Steve, no way. Like that New York, like Steve is all New York. She just has to know that. You talk to Steve and you know within about five seconds, right? He's born and raised in New York. That blood should be so thick and yet 
once you leave, once you leave, your blood changes, right? Nature has an impact on you, and you feel it. The cold has an impact. People live in colder climates or, or climates in which there's just a lot of haze, whether it's London or San Francisco. There's different behavioral issues. We are intimately tied to the sense of nature. That's what this blessing is really about. It's about our interdependence, our relationship with nature. Let's read together where it says, God and nature, an interpretive translation. Beloved are you, eternal God, by whose design the evening falls, by whose command dimensions open up and eons pass away and stars spin in their orbit, you set the rhythm of day and night in alternation of light and darkness sings your creating word. In rising sun and in spreading dark, creator of all, you are made manifest. Eternal, everlasting God, may we always be aware of your dominion. Blessed are you, Adonai for this hour of nightfall. Baruch atah Adonai ha-ma'ariv aravim Amen. On page 40, page 40, Ki hem chayenu. Ki hem chayenu v'orech yameinu u'vahel v'geyomam v'alayla Ki hem chayenu Page 41, I invite you to close your eyes for these six words of oneness with God. We join together. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad We're saying from bed. V'ahavta ha'ehet Adonai Elohecha V'chol levavcha ha'u'v'chol nafshecha ha'u'v'chol Bechol meodecha, vehayu adarim ha'ele, asher anochim mitzavecha ha'yom alivavecha, vishinanta ha'am levanecha, vedi bahar tavam vishitecha ha'beleitecha, uvelechtecha ha'vaderech. Uvishok becha uvekumecha Ukshar tam leohot al yadecha Behayu letotafot bein einecha Uktav tam al mezuzot Beitecha uvihisharecha We continue silently on page 42. Liman tiskeru vasitem et kol mitzvotai v'item kedoshim l'Eloheichem Ani Adonai Eloheichem Asher rotzeiti echem me'eretz mitzrayim liot lachem l'Elohim Ani Adonai Eloheichem Adonai Eloheichem emet. On page 44, we move now in the 
prayer services and through themes, and now we get to the theme of redemption, of Geula, God who redeems us in life, and the, we hearken back to the Sea of Reeds. We're in the story now in the uh, Torah reading cycle of the plagues in Egypt, which means pretty soon we'll get to the Sea of Reeds after the Israelites leave. Who is like unto you, O God? Michamocha. Amen. There, thank you. Page 45, we're going to continue um, with Ufros Aleinu. Ufros Aleinu Su Page 46, the Shamru. Tell you what, uh, let's rise together as we're going together, the Shamru. The Shamru, the Israel, the Shabbat, the Lazot, the Shabbat, the Dorot, the Shabbat, the Shamru, the Israel, Israel, Shabbat Yamim Asa Adonai Et HaShamayim Et HaHaret Shamru Bene Yisrael Et 
Shabbat Shabbat Maybe seated. Did you all of you know that Rosh Hashanah is coming up? Yes. Rosh Hashanah is coming up again. <laughs> John Stein knows what I'm talking about because if you study the Mishnah, you'll actually find out at the beginning of a tractate called Rosh Hashanah that there's actually four different Rosh Hashanahs in the year. The Rosh Hashanah that we celebrate as being the beginning of the new year was just one of those. And then there were four, three others. One of them had to do with tithing. Another one had to do with certain gifts that were brought. And another one actually has to do with trees. It's the birthday of trees. You know that is what holiday? Tu Bishvat, or Arbor Day, would be the American twist on a very old Jewish tradition. <laughs> there, we had it first is exactly right. But it's a debate, actually, because normally every other um, Rosh Hashanah falls at the first of the month, and there's a disagreement. One says, no, it's not on the first of Shvat, but it's actually on Tu Bishvat, which means the 15th of Shvat. And it's actually celebrated as the New Year of Trees. But we call it the birthday of the trees. Ben, what does that mean, birthday of trees? What? Springtime, but it's not even springtime, it's like the dead of the winter, which is really interesting. Right, we have this tradition, you grew up in the tradition of planting trees. You can only do that in Southern California, by the way. Right? Steve, in New York, you'd be planting trees about this time of year? You wouldn't be outside in time of year, right? get a shovel in the ground. But isn't that fat? Like here in Southern California, it really works about going out and planting things. It doesn't work in too many other places. And the truth of the matter is, it has nothing to do with birthdays of trees, per se, other than if you know a little bit about Torah, you'll know that when it comes to fruits and fruit trees, you're not allowed to eat the fruit of the trees the first three years. Not allowed to eat it. Now, by the way, maybe because, by the way, if you have fruit trees, they're just not very good fruit but you can't eat them the first year. By the way, that tradition of not cutting off anything of a tree for three years translates into what other tradition that you know about? Exactly, Stephanie, right? Of not cutting hair for three years. Isn't that interesting? Because it should be dedicated to God. And the fourth year of, of fruit trees, that was brought to the temple in terms of being a gift to God. And then only in the fifth year were you allowed to um, partake of the fruit. The question is, how do you know the year of the tree? What, are you going to put a little sign on it or carve it into its little, little, you know, kind of trunk when it was planted or something? And so, anybody into horse racing at all? Anybody into horse racing? Anybody know about horse racing? Like, you have these races that are like two-year-olds and three-year-olds. Like, anybody know, like, does a horse have a birthday? So I learned this from somebody. Anybody know, anybody into this? You don't, nobody knows it here. So I hope you, nobody can, can correct me. But... There is. January 1st. Any horse born in a particular year, it doesn't matter where you are, right? When you're born in that year, that year that's your first year. Right? And so they, they do it not by the actual birthday. It's not like they card you and say, okay, this race is on May 15th, and the horse doesn't turn two until like May 20th. Well, sorry, it's not a two-year-old. Anybody born within that year. And that's how they would keep track of, of the animals. And by the way, in Israel, if you will, Climate, you don't plant trees necessarily as well, but the truth of the matter is that became a clear mark of when trees were pre planted in a previous year and when they would have been planted the following year, and that's how they were able to follow in terms of tithing of the trees and them. And that's where this whole notion of Tubi Shvat comes from. Later on, by the way, in one of the most brilliant marketing campaigns. Anybody here into marketing? You know marketing, right? In the most brilliant marketing campaign, the Jewish National Fund takes over Tubi Shvat as a time to plant trees. So how many of you mean, grow, remember growing up in Hebrew school, religious school, and that was the time, wasn't it, when you would bring in those little booklets and you'd put in dime, first it was nickels and dimes and quarters and dollar bills or whatever you'd put in there, and they took Tu Bishvat and they transformed it 
into a tree holiday. And that what we think about today, and that's how trees were planted in Israel, and that's how we think in the transition, if you will, of Tu Shvat, which has many manifestations. Otherwise, we wouldn't know about it. The, um, the mystics, by the way, of course, in Svats try to create the, the Tu Shvat Seder. And that, uh, how many of you ever been to a Tu Shvat Seder? Nancy, right? Okay, and Alicia. And they tried, didn't catch on so much, but an attempt to create new meaning to Bishvat. Everybody tried to reinvigorate it. So we still remember to Bishvat this month coming up. We're going to continue with the Hatsi Kaddish, page 46. Yitkadal, the Yitkadash, me Rabba, Amen. Be Almati Brachi Rute, me Amlich Machute. We rise together, page 47, for the beginning of the Amidah, the meditation, the Kavanah, Adonai Tzvatai, and then you'll just trail off the Hebrew or English or your private prayers of your heart as we begin together.
Shalom Aleinu Be'yalko Yisrael Be'yalko Yoshvei Tevel Be'imru Be'imru Amen Join me, the words are easy Hey! Ya-la-la-la-la-la Page 55, we're going to arrive together for Kiddush. Everybody stand, if you will. Done for you. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Borei peri ha'gafen. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Asher kirishanu b'mitzvotav, Beratavahanu, Beshabbat kosho, Beahavav ratzon, Hinchilanu, Zikaron lemaaseh v'reshit Ki hu yom tehila lemikra e kodesh Zecher letziyat mitzrayim Ki vanu vacharta Veotanu ki dashta Mikohamim Shabbat Kodshecha Be'ahav Ba'ur Ratzon Inchaltanu Baruch Ata Adonai V'kadesh HaShabbat Amen Remain standing, page 56 for Aleinu. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hako L'ateg gedula l'yotze ebreishit Shelo asanu k'goye ha'aratzon Velo samanu k'mishpochot ha'adama Shelo samanu kahem V'goraleinu k'cho ha'monam Ba'anachnu koreim u'mishtachavim u'monim Lifne melech ma'chen ha'lachim ha'kadosh baruch hu She'hum nute shamayim v'yoseid ha'aretz U'moshav ikarom ba'shamayim im ha'am U'shlid ha'tuzo Ushina tuzo, we go pay me. Who Eloheinu Eino, Emet Malkeinu Efesulato, Kakatu Betorato, we are that Tayo, we are Shevota, Eleva. Kakatu betoratecha, 
Adonai go be seated on page 58, the Mourner's Kaddish. On this Shabbat, remember the yard size, the passing of Eileen Bushman, June Child, Selma Steinberg, Ezra Child, Samuel Devine, Stanley Shearer, Melvin Stoller, Henrietta Sufferwitz, Morris Taub, Paul Anik, Ezra Kotzen, Frida Lappner, Alex Veleg Norber, Ruth Schwartz, Seal Sussman, Jerry Greenwald, Eddie Kalkin, Abraham Heimoff, Stephen Walker, Ruth Wolstein, Jackie Serlin, Eva Zuckerman, Kara Treitman, and Rabbi Yisrael Klein. We uh, also mourn the passing this week of uh, Sandy Klein Wine, the uh, sister of Lena and Avram. And uh, condolences to you on your loss. I invite all who have neither desire to recite the words of the Mortis Cottage to rise at this time. And we pray, and whether you're here in the congregation or if you're home and you're reciting the Kaddish as well, that you have a sense of comfort from the words of the Kaddish and community as you join together. Yit Gadal, the Yit Kadash Shemei Rabba Amen. Belma Divra Hirute, Viam Lich Machute, the Chai Hon, the Viome Hon, the Chaye, the whole Beit Israel, Bagalav, Vizman Kariv, Himeru Amen, Yehesh Me, Rabam of Orach, Le Alam, Umeil Maya, Yit Barach, Yishtabach, Yit Paar, Vit Roman, Vit Nase, Vit Hadar, Vit Alevi Talal, Shemei the Kudisha, Brihu. Le'elam mikol birchata v'shirata tush birchata v'nechamata dat miran b'alma v'meru amen yehi shlama rabba min shemaya v'chayim alenu b'al kol Yisrael v'meru amen ose shalom b'mromav hu yase shalom alenu b'al kol Yisrael v'meru amen may God who stamps His peace in the heavens grant peace and harmony for us for all of Israel and all of humanity as we say. Amen. You may be seated. Julie, come on, come on. You're going to share with us some announcements. Come on up. Shabbat Shalom. Nice to see everyone tonight on this cold night. Um, this is our family service, so welcome. And happy birthday. Did we, we didn't do no birthdays this month, huh? We do. It's coming up after. Happy, happy birthday. birthday in advance. I love birthdays. That's wonderful. Tomorrow, our Shabbat morning service begins at 9, 15 a.m. and features the Urfav of Sarah Weiss and Rachel Seitz. For all of those of you who made New Year's, New Year's resolutions to wear sweatpants to temple more often, we've got good news for you. Tomorrow morning, Shabbat yoga begins at 9.30 a.m. <laughs> Children are welcome. Please bring... Oh, my gosh. I love that. Way to go. I'm going to use that one tomorrow. Please bring your own yoga mat, if you have one, and yoga will be followed by Sacred Space Minion at 11 a.m. Next Friday, January 11th, join us for Shabbat Fusion at 7 p.m. Please don't wear your sweatpants to this one. Not appropriate. Next Saturday, January 12th, our Shabbat morning service begins at 9.15 a.m. with the bat mitzvah of Abigail Hamoff and the baby naming of Emma Charlotte Blank. And for those of you who made New Year's resolutions to wear jeans to temple more often, Rabbi Goldstein invites you to Java and Jeans, which is a casual discussion at 1.45 a.m. Any comment? No, I uh, do it with the trousers. Okay, something Levi's. with the Levi's, yeah, okay. <laughs> May, uh, mark your calendars for Friday, January uh, 18th. Uh, that's our Be the Light campaign. And there's a big crescendo that night mm -hmm. as we join with hundreds of our friends and from eight religious organizations. I love this 
Shabbat. It's the Voices of Unity Shabbat. I look forward to it every year. I hope that you'll join us. We'll be celebrating all the amazing things that we have accomplished together. Information on all Temple Aliyah events can be found in the Kol Shabbat pamphlet and also on our website at templealiyah.org. And you can look at the website in whatever pants you want to wear. It's okay. I don't write this, by the way. <laughs> so please join us in Lupin Hall tonight after services for our Onik Shabbat. We can talk about what kind of pants we're going to wear next time. And lastly, I'd like to remind everyone not to use any cell phones or video cameras while we maintain the sanctity of our Shabbat. Thank you, and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. By the way, apparently there's a competition for writing those announcements that at what point will Julie just actually not make the announcement that they write? <laughs> so they, they actually, they shared that with me. All right, we have one birthday. Lauren, Greece, get on up here, please. I believe, anybody else have a birthday for this month? All right, Aaron, it's not your birthday, is it? No, it's not. Get up here, Lauren. Come on. Are you ready? You're going to share with us your name, how old you are this month, and what you'd like to be. Okay, Lauren? You know how to start? All right, what do you start with? What's your name? Lauren. Sure? Yes. Okay, good. How old are you this month? Twelve years old. How old are you turning this month? Eight. Eight. You sure? Yes. Okay. And what would you like to do when you grow up? A gymnast. A gymnast? Do you know how to do any gymnast stuff? Can you show me something? <laughs> Give her a hand, please. Do we have Hazan try, uh, Stein try that? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How much would you pay to see Hazan Stein try and do that? How much would you all pay? That was great. She really wanted to. Do you like can do tumbling and things like that? Can you do a back bend and a flip over or no? Seriously? Don't, don't hurt anything over here. Come on, move over here. Come on, go over here. Do it over here on the carpet. Just one for us, okay? You ready? All right, go. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen. For you, we're going to sing happy birthday and so proud of you, okay? And Yom Huled Sameach. Chazan, let's give her a happy birthday and Yom yes. Huled Sameach. It's all for you. Yom Huled et Sameach. Yom Huled et Sameach. Yom Huled et Sameach. Yom Huled et Sameach. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lauren. Happy birthday to you. Hey, nice job, you. Let's rise together, everybody. We're going to do a little bit of a Don Olam, and you'll find it on page. What page is Don Olam on? Don Olam. Let's do 211. Let's stand up and let's do this together. All right. I don't know la ma shema la Beterem ko yitzir ira Le'ed na sa v'chev zonko Azayim velech shemo nikra I don't know la ma shema la Beterem ko yitzir ira Bap, 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 bap Ve'achare kichlot hako Levado yimeloch nora Ve'hu haya ve'hu hove Behu ye ebti fara, I don't know la ma shem alach mater am koi sirnira. Bap 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 bap. Behu echad ve ein sheni leham shilo lehachira. Beli reshid beli tachli velo haos ve hamisra. I don't know la ma shem alach mater am koi sirnira. Bap 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 bap. Behu eli v'chai goali v'tur chev li v'yetzara Behu nisi humanosli menad kosi v'yom ekra Adon olam asher malach v'terem ko yitzir nebra Bap, 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 bap V'yahadu ab kidruchi v'ayit ishan v'ayira V'im ruchi g'viyati I don't know, I leave a low era. I don't know, I'm a shame, I'm a shame, I'm a poison era. A bop, 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 bop. I don't know, I'm a shame, I'm a shame, I'm a poison era. A bop, 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 bop. I said, I don't know, I'm a shame, I'm a shame, I'm a poison era. Yeah. All right, great dancing.
<laughs> Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. They were awesome.